Hello everyone, this is Adam Raptor, and today we'll be taking a look at a large marine reptile that has a surprising amount of controversy surrounding it, the Liopleurodon. But before we begin, I would like to say that, as always, I will be leaving a list of all of my sources in the description below, and I would also like to inform you that I have sadly decided to discontinue the production of videos for my 2018 vacation series. So now let's get to the actual video. To start with, Lyoplardon is a member of a family of short-necked marine reptiles known as the Pliosauride family, which is also part of the order of reptiles Plesiosaura. However, according to Wikipedia, there are only two currently recognized species of Lyoplorodon, which would be Lyoplorodon ferox and Lyoplorodon pachydiris, with Lyoplorodon ferox being the best known of the two. According to fossilworks.org, these marine reptiles are known to have lived in what is now Europe and South America during the Calvonian, Oxfordian, Kimmeridgian, and the Tythonian stages of the Jurassic period, and apparently went extinct during the Bariasian stage of the early Cretaceous period. Or in other words, Lyoplorodon lived from approximately 161.2 million years ago to about 140.2 million years ago. To be more specific, their fossilized remains have been found in France, the United Kingdom, Germany, and Argentina, the last of which is, as far as I'm aware, the only known location that Lyoplorodon has been found in rock layers dating back to the Cretaceous period because all of the other locations have been dated back to the Jurassic period. However, unlike modern day, these locations were not covered by dry land during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Instead, due to the Earth's global climate being predominantly warm and tropical during this time in the planet's history, there were no polar ice caps and many coastal lowland areas were flooded by inland seas. As such, Europe was predominantly separated into numerous small islands and would have resembled modern places like the Bahamas. This European sea would have contained large coral reef systems which also would have been teeming with marine life. Life that would have included animals like plesiosaurs such as Chimarosaurus, pliosaurs like the pliosaurus, the fish-like reptiles known as ichthyosaurs, like the ophthalmosaurus, marine crocodiles like metrorhynchus, fish such as the giant filter feeder known as lesichthys, sharks like hybotus, squids, ammonites, and many other forms of marine life, while the flying reptiles known as pterosaurs like Ramphorhynchus, hunted small fish and other small marine animals from above the waves, and the dinosaurs, like Eustreptospondylus, dominated the land. Being the apex predator of its ecosystem means that Lyoplorodon most likely would have hunted almost everything in its environment, which would have included all of the animals I listed before. So now, let us move on to what I have found to be the most controversial topic about the Lyoplorodon, its size. In contrast to the enormous 25 meter long or 82 foot long Lyoplorodon proposed in the BBC's Walking with Dinosaurs documentary series, it is now generally agreed upon that Lyoplorodon was a marine predator that typically grew from about 5 to about 7 meters long, 
or from about 16 to about 23 feet long, with the largest individuals growing to a maximum length of about 10 meters long, or about 33 feet long, which to put it in perspective, is around the same length as the modern killer whale. While according to Wikipedia, the mass of 7 meter long individuals have been estimated to have been around 1.7 metric tons, or about 3,700 pounds. Much like other plesiosaurs and pliosaurs, Myoplardon had four very large flippers that it used to propel itself through the water. But an experiment that was conducted in the year 2017 showed that by using the hind flippers working in conjunction with the forward flippers, plesiosaurs would have been able to produce up to 60% more thrust than if they were to only use a single pair of flippers for propulsion. Even though these marine reptiles primarily use their flippers to swim through the water, research that was done in the year 2013 on the caudal or tail vertebra of the plesiosaur Romaliosaurus, as well as other plesiosaurs, shows that they likely also possessed a vertical, dual-lobed tail fin. This research also suggests that this tail fin was probably a widespread feature within this order of reptiles. It is also suggested that this tail fin was likely used to aid in the animal's speed, maneuverability, and to help them stabilize their bodies in the water column which means that even pliosaurs, like Liopleurodon, probably possessed a similar tail fin as well. So this drawing of Liopleurodon, which I drew for this video, might be an accurate representation of what this animal could have looked like while it was alive. The genus Liopleurodon was first named and described in the year 1873 by the French paleontologist, who I was unable to find any photographs of, Dr. Henry Emily Savage, who used three poorly preserved fossilized teeth to name the genus, each of which were about 7 centimeters long, or about 2.7 six inches long. It was originally thought that each tooth belonged to one of three different species of the genus Liopleurodon, which the original three species were Liopleurodon ferox, Liopleurodon grossuveri, and Liopleurodon bucklandi, although only one of the original species which would be Liopleurodon ferox, is still currently recognized as being a valid species. With the addition of a species that was originally described as a member of the genus Pliosaurus by British paleontologist Harry Seeley in the year 1869, which this additional species is now referred to as Liopleurodon pachydirus. And I have already mentioned Liopleurodon ferox and Liopleurodon pachydirus at the beginning of this video. So to wrap up this video, the Liopleurodon was a genus of predatory marine reptiles that lived from the Middle Jurassic to the Early Cretaceous and was only around the same length as the modern killer whale. So if you are new to watching my videos and want to watch more, then please subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!